Okay. So I want this morning to just show you a sequence that I've dedicated to my sister who died recently was a very strong, determined lady. I'm going to start with the three minutes because it leads into it so beautifully. Stretch, release. Stretch, and release. One more. into our forward bend. Always a good idea to start with this, particularly in the winter when the body is stiff. So I'm roll, knees bent, tail tucked under. Slowly, slowly. I'm rolling the spine, bone by bone. Side bend, stretch up. And relax over. Relax being the important word. You're just letting your body ease out into a natural side bending stretch. Coming back. Stretch the arm up first, reach up to the fingertips, then draw back, taking the weight off the spine so you don't strain yourself. Other side. And our rotation for the spine. Stretch out. You can, if you like, as I do, I do the Hasta Mudras, the hand mudras, to help balance the energies in the body. One finger at a time held down towards the heel of the thumb with the thumb. Balancing. air, earth, ether, water. Other side. At the moment I have my middle finger tucked down. Seems a small thing, but it seems to work. It's knowledge 6,000 years old. So who are we to question? Yoga mudra, forward bend. Three breaths for this one. Let the shoulders relax a little more each time. So the hands come over towards the floor in front of you, but gradually in their own time. Same with the back bend. I like to do the lotus mudra. Mudra helps you have the strength to face your daily life. To our squat. Feet wider apart, turned out, just go as far as you can. This time I'm using fourth finger, ring finger, earth mudra. <clears throat> Three breaths again, let go a bit more if you can, sinking closer to the floor.
lifting up an imaginary football. Look at it. Push through the knees, strengthen it as you lift and release. Rebalance. Coming up. Prana mudra. Middle finger, ring finger, touching tip of the thumb. Balances all the energies. So consequently, it helps with balance. Two more. And now we come on to our warrior sequence. We're going to start with the crow posture. It's not on my yoga mat, so it's a little difficult. breaths. Big wide step into warrior. Back bend. Back back. Down. Take the foot back into up dog. Flatten out. Sorry, down dog. Now up dog. Two more. Step, same foot, both hands up. Big back heel, swivel the toes to face forward, sink down, and ease into deeper back bend. Release down. Other side. So this time we have right leg up. Two. Up. Warrior one. And down. Into our dog stretch. Down dog. Up dog. Down dog. Big step forward, 
still left foot. Lift back heel. Both arms this time. Up we go. Warrior one. Release down. Step up. Unroll. Big wide step. Relax down. Feet parallel. Wrap the hands around. Heels, calf muscles, thighs. Wherever you can reach. Just relax. For three or four breaths. <coughs> Hands on the floor in front of you. Bend right knee. Looking. Got left leg straight, so we're looking to the left. Raise right arm, if you can, left arm, three breaths, back to the floor, ease back up, back into your forward, relax. In bend. Three breaths. Other side. Bend the left knee this time. Straightening the right leg. Look to the right. Find a little spot to look at. Raise the left arm. Leave that hand there if you're not steady. And then the right arm. Last time, forward bend. This time let's just squeeze into it a little more. Straighten the spine, just lift the head slightly and then squeeze the chest towards the space between your legs. Then let the head relax. Three breaths. Hands to the floor, walk the feet together, or nearly together. Bend the knees, make sure feet parallel, slowly, slowly. Arm roll. Just let the breath steady. We do the fearless heart mudra. Got a long name but I've forgotten it for the moment. So hands back to back like so. Cross the little fingers, cross the middle fingers and the index finger. So ring finger is free. We're going to bring that to touch the thumbs. Slowly rise up. Close your eyes. Breathe into this. Feel fearless. Ready to fight with all your might. All the problems all the challenges that are presented to you. And 
slowly. Bring it back to the heart centre. Ideally, you could do that the other way around with the other finger in, in front. Probably going to feel quite strange, but it does give you a little extra challenge. So now you're ready for anything. Thank you everybody, I hope you enjoy that little video and, and that it helps you to strengthen and become more resolved.